Hi, fifth graders. Welcome to art. It's a little different today because uh, it's from my home and your home, but I'm excited to draw with you today. You will need a pencil or pen, some kind of writing utensil. It doesn't matter what kind. I'm going to use a pen so I can't erase. So that will make it clear that making mistakes is okay. So feel free to use whatever you have and a piece of paper. And today we are going to be drawing a map of the United States. Um, so this is fun, fun for a fun way to be familiar with the states. And also we're doing this because one of the fifth grade standards talks about um, how to just evaluate the role of the U.S. Um, as a world power. And I'm sure that this is something that um, is relevant to you today as the world is having issues with the pandemic and um, just thinking about how the U.S. plays a role in world affairs. So today we will start with an outline of the country and if, if you feel a little intimidated, don't worry, I did too, but it um, doesn't have to be perfect and I'm going to be walking you through all the steps and if you need to stop the video and go back or you know fix something whatever you want to do you are welcome to do that okay so this is going to be um, a little bit tricky for me because I need to draw this backwards so you can see it so I'm going to be looking at um, a reference to help me with this. Okay, so we're gonna do our best and it's not perfect, but we're gonna start at the top corner and we're going to come across and down a little bit and then we're going to jump back and over with a little bump here down and up and back down we just made Michigan and then we're going to go over and up it's gonna come up like a little step here over the top another step and then you're gonna go up as high as we've been so far and come back down so I'm gonna I'm gonna say that again because I know that's that's a lot of little steps. So you started on the left side of your page. So you you just follow me. I'm I'm doing this so it'll be right for you. So the right way. So you're gonna go kind of straight but a little bit angled down first. Then you're going to go back. So you from this point you're gonna go a short line back. And then you're going to go back forward again. And then you're going to curve over and down. And then you're going to curve back up. And then you're going to make another curve down. So you just made like, it looks like a little wave kind of. And then you're going to go under, curve line under like a smiley face, up again, over, and that over one went up a little bit, but it doesn't matter, it's not exact, and then you're going to make a bump, from this point you're going to make a bump up and over, and then one more hill up, and over. Okay, if you did this much, good job. Give yourself a pat on the back. I mean, take your time. And mine is not going to be perfect. And you're, I don't need yours to be perfect either. Right now, you don't know exactly what states these are or why we're drawing these lines. So just do your best to follow. And we're going to fill in the states as best we can. And it's just a homemade map. So no worries about perfection here. Okay, so if you're ready, 
Uh, we're going to come back over to the left side, which is the west coast. And we're going to go like this. We're going to curve out and down. Out and down. Then we're going to slant out toward the edge of the page a little bit. And then we're going to curve even more out towards the edge of the page as we go down. So we're going to go out and down, 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 down. Start curving back in. This is California. Back in. And stop. Okay, there's California. And then from the bottom of California, we're going to go in towards the US in and then slant down towards the bottom of the page and then we're going to go across horizontally and up a little bit and then we're going to curve up like a frowny face and then down like a smiley face. So we kind of just made an, a little sideways S up, down, and up. And let's check. So we have not reached this jagged line yet over here. We're still kind of on this smooth line, so that's good. We're supposed to still be um, over here on the page. So if you're accidentally over here, then just back it up and start here again. Okay, so we've got our little S. Now we're going to go a uh, frowny face curve again. So frowny face curve. And this time you're going to go down even further and kind of wiggle down. This is the bottom of Texas, and over, and then you're going to go, you're going to draw a line that curves up and toward the east coast side of your page. I mean, the west coast, sorry, I'm backwards. Okay, so curve up and over. Okay, that's the bottom of Texas, up and over. Okay, then you're going to come, now here's, we're right about lined up with where those jagged lines are up here, so that's a good sign. Okay, so we're gonna go, um, um, actually, okay, we're gonna go up, I started to go down, actually go up, and, We have down up, like this, that's Louisiana, and then we have over, and then we have um, a line that comes curve and, okay, so curve over, and then you're going to make a really big down turn, down and out toward the edge of the page, like a hook kind of, and then it actually is gonna come all the way back up like this. Okay, so then from here, we're almost connected to our top. So let's go back to the top, to main. And we, we already came out towards the edge of the page, now we're gonna go back in and out again a little bit and back in. So we went into the into the page, out and in. Okay. Then um, find our place here. Then you're going to do a little bump. So you're going to go you're going to bump out in, out, in. So two bumps. Bump, bump. And then 
do a little curve up. Do that little tiny curve up. And out towards the edge of the page again. And curve back in to connect. Okay, you are welcome to pause and replay that if you want to go over this. This is, it's not exactly to scale, so that's okay. Just helping us get the idea of where the states are. All right, we have, um, okay, we're gonna get started on the states. So it's kind of cool because the states, a lot of them have geometric lines separating them, which makes it a little easier to draw. So we're gonna start at the top here with the east coast, yeah, the east coast um, on the left of your page. And we're gonna come in a little bit from the top to make Washington and Oregon. So we are going straight down in to the middle of the page and straight down. And this doesn't come halfway down, it stops up here near the top, maybe a little further. And then we will draw a line back to the coast. And then you're gonna separate these two, kind of from where that point was in the inside of the continent. Okay, we are going to label these so we know what they are. So we have Washington. Oh, mine are backwards, let's see. That. Okay, Washington. Let me give you a. All right. And Oregon. Okay, and then this, go back up to Washington and move over just a little bit, and you're going to go jagged in to the continent and come down even with where Oregon was. And this is Idaho. Okay, and then we have below those, we're gonna do California right here, California curved out. And so right in the middle of Oregon about, we're going to also do a line pointing out to the outside of the page, the edge, and back in. And then we have this little first bump here at the bottom, and that part will connect. So this is roughly California. Okay, and then we are going to do Nevada next. To, so go to the middle of Idaho, and go straight down till you get close to Canada, or California and you're gonna connect those. So that's pretty close to what it is. And then we have Nevada. So far so good. Okay, then Idaho, at the edge of Idaho, we are going to go straight down for a little bit straight over and the same thing on top straight over and this line is actually going to connect the angle all the way up so we just made that little from Idaho we went down over made a rectangle and then we went straight up for this is Montana and this is Wyoming. So from here, we have halfway through, partway through Montana, I mean, sorry, through Wyoming. We're gonna make Utah, we're gonna go straight, actually all the way down, straight down. Okay, so, and then from the corner of Wyoming, 
we're going to go over a little bit and then this is Colorado down and see where Nevada and um, has that little triangle piece at the bottom from about where that triangle piece is we're going to go across to finish so this was Colorado and this is Utah let's see let's put that line there so we can tell that's a U and then down here we have Arizona and New Mexico. Not finished drawing New Mexico yet, but New Mexico is going to actually be shorter than Colorado. So it's going to connect to the edge of Colorado, come down. And it actually, so this line that just came down, This one is going to go, now I'm getting a little mixed up. Here's our Texas. Okay, I think I've drawn this a little bit, a little bit wrong, but that's okay. We're gonna come back to that in a second. It's close. Okay, so let's go back up to the top. Um, we are going to get in our middle states here before we get over to these jagged lines. So this middle section, before our point here, we're going to go down curve over and back and then cut right through where it touches Montana and this is North Dakota And then under it, we have South Dakota. And so we'll draw our line for South Dakota so it touches Wyoming. And then right here in this little area, we're going to draw um, from South Dakota's corner there. We're going to scoot it out. And we're going to come... So come, actually come down here to Texas. See this scoop right here? It's going to come curve up or kind of straight coming up. So you had this main drag of Texas here and then come up. Hey, we're going to connect this line to this line and we're going to do it pretty smoothly. It has some bumps, but we're going to just kind of connect to it. Now we need to divide up these states. So Nebraska has a little corner in there with Colorado. So just straight across where it touches Colorado. Here's Nebraska, any. -E. And then we have another line where Colorado ends. We'll draw another line and this is Kansas. And we're going to do another line here under Kansas. I'm um, touching New Mexico. We're going to go straight over, scoop down, and over. It's kind of like a pan right there. And that is Oklahoma. Okay, now Texas, this is the part where it got a little mixed up. I think we need to go back into New Mexico a little bit, and that is where Texas is, so Texas, big state. Okay, now we're going to draw what looks like a little person here. This is like the, gonna be like the hat. So from this little hat, we're gonna curve in, or I guess like out, Kind of like the hats curving here and then 
people probably see different things in this. So then we kind of have like a little face. And then I'm going to call this a little belly and some pants and a shoe. So you've got curved back, forward, forward, so bump, bump, down, and bump around for the shoes. And we'll divide this up. So partway through at the bottom of Oklahoma right here is Louisiana. There's the, the shoe. And then we have Arkansas here, uh, partway through that belly. Arkansas, it's A-R. Okay, and then we have Missouri. Kind of where that shirt would be. And then Iowa, that's where I was talking about maybe the, that's the face, and Minnesota. Okay, this is very detailed. Not all our art lessons are going to be this detailed, just so you know, but if um, you're having fun, keep going. If, if this is getting a little stressful, then you can look at a map, you could draw your own states, you can adapt this how you want to. I'm just giving you something that you can work with if you'd like to. Okay, we just have a little bit of the area left, um, lots of states here. So this is how we'll divide this first part. We're going to go from Missouri and we're going to curve up to where that first dip is. That's a lake right there. Okay, so we're splitting right here on Iowa where that little nose is. We're gonna split it there. And up here is Minnesota. And under it, we already did Minnesota, I'm sorry. It's Wisconsin. And under it is Illinois. So actually that, that line should probably be up there because Illinois sees that lake. Okay, <clears throat> I believe. And then we have this little um, part that looked like a wave earlier. I told you that is Michigan. And actually part of, so we have, go across here for Michigan. And we also have part of Michigan up here above Wisconsin. So we've got Michigan in two places here. Okay, then we are going to continue our line or um, coming down and this line from under Missouri, we're actually going to take that all the way to the edge above that little point there. And then this line under Michigan can come and connect in with Missouri like this. So we are going to have down here, we've got Arkansas, Louisiana. By Arkansas, we're going to go out and curve down to the edge. And we're going to split this area from the middle. Um, so we're going to be going into the, into the inside like this. We've got North Carolina on the coast and Tennessee inside. All right, hopefully you're doing good still. Okay, so Florida, we are going to curve this over and down. Okay, this is Florida. And then we're going to split this area into four. 
under North Carolina, we've got South, oops, let's see, that's backwards. South Carolina. And then we're going to split this twice. So Mississippi is going to come straight down. So it has a long skinny part there. Mississippi. And then we have, I'm going to split that again on top of Florida. So we have um, Georgia is next to South Carolina. And then we have Alabama next to Georgia. All right, getting there. Okay, so then let's come back up to, um, we had Illinois and so this part got a little confusing. I'm gonna need to squeeze in Kentucky here. So Kentucky is going to curve up and down and then we're gonna go up for Virginia. So we've got Kentucky in here and Virginia next to it. And we've got West Virginia right there on top. We're doing a curve line on top. West Virginia. Okay. Then, um, okay, so we've got Michigan up here, Kentucky down here. Just got a little off, but I'm going to draw a line straight down. And we have under. Wisconsin and Illinois. Next to Illinois is Indiana. And next to Indiana is Ohio. Okay, so we're heading towards the um, northeast coast now. So we have at the very top, Maine. We actually have a cool thing here where um, we can draw a line from the top and it's going to come in like this and out like that, kind of like a little A. And so Maine is up here. In that little triangle we have new Hampshire, and then we're going to draw a line across here to kind of cut those off. And then if we keep going a little further with that line and do another line, that is Vermont. And then um, this little corner here next to Vermont, we're actually going to bring that line so we are coming down. Let's do this step by step. So we have Massachusetts next. So we're going to go from the um, this first point here. We are going to cut in and down. Okay. Here's Rhode Island. All right, and then go over and down. And we have Connecticut. Now this area up here, we've got Massachusetts here and New York here. So Massachusetts, New York is coming from this. We've got this bump out, down, and over, 
and down next to Connecticut, New York. Okay, then we have um, right there next to Ohio, we've got Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, and we're going to draw a line from Ohio all the way over so we're close to the edge and then we're going to go up to New York and that one is Pennsylvania. Okay, and then we're going to take a little line down from Pennsylvania like this for New Jersey and a smaller line for Delaware, that one right there. Okay, and this um, last spot right here is Maryland. Okay, so this is not a map, obviously, to use for real purposes, but this is just giving us an idea. Um, great job if you've followed along so far. I'm doing it um, a little bit slower. Hopefully that's helping. And then we're going to just add our last two states. Hopefully I got all of those. Um, down here at the bottom, we're going to draw a box here for Alaska. And in our box, we'll draw a line coming down, up. Kind of wiggle down, up, and back down. So this is our Alaska. We, this part is Canada, connected to Canada, and Alaska is kind of this shape. Again, not exact, but we have kind of pinching in a little bit and going back out. So here's Alaska, connected to, to Canada, and then we're going to do Hawaii next to it, draw another little box. We've seen this on maps before, how they're separate. Um, Hawaii, we're going to draw our little, uh, our bigger island here. And then it, we've got a few other islands here. And this is Hawaii. Postal code says hi. All right, so. This is my map of the United States. Um, I'm going to sign my name. Normally, um, we sign our name in the, the bottom right corner, and I've got some space here, so I'll go ahead and do that. And make my back. Now, um, this has been a longer drawing video and the rest of the time I just want you to color it and think about the role that the United States has in our country um, at this time and any time in history. Uh, it might be fun if you've been to some of these states to highlight those ones. I think um, what I'm going to do to show you is is that I'm just gonna start with some of the ones I've been to and choose colors for those so if you're coloring you can be using anything you want I'm gonna use crayons today and you could be doing patterns or textures you could choose a pattern or texture that um, that is something that would represent that state I'm just gonna make a copy of this really quick beforehand so that I can have that for those who aren't online but yeah you can I think I'm gonna be um, for example thinking I'm going to do Utah in orange because it's a desert so it can be as simple as that whatever whatever ideas you want to do um, and so let me show you a couple here and remember as you color and draw like we do in class, if you'd like to put music on, um, that's a great idea. 
to help you focus. And like we do in class also, you know that you can stop this video at any time. You could draw and then take a break, stop the video, walk around, stretch your legs, and then you can come back to it. This is, there's no real time limit on this. Um, it's for fun and it's, it's to help you learn and to have fun at home. So let's see what other, let's see, I have been on a trip to Nevada. Go ahead and color that one in. And you could do, you could do this by your favorite sports teams. You could do maybe movies set in these states or ones you've read about in books, whatever you want. Let's see, California has palm trees. I'm gonna do light green. And if you would like to stop the video for this part, you know, at any time you can, and just go ahead and finish by yourself, or if you wanna see how mine ends up, great. That's great too. Okay, let's see. I've never been up here. I'd really like to go go there, but I have been to Idaho and they have a lot of rolling green hills that I've noticed in some parts or just green fields, which are so beautiful. So I'm going to do a dark green. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about all my, so my Montana, there's a beautiful lake my family goes to there. We're going to do some blue waves for that one. All right, uh, let's see. I have been to Wyoming. Um, the part I went to is pretty dusty and outdoors. I'm going to do some brown. Kind of a cowboy state. Let's see. I am not sure if I've been to Colorado. Oh, I've been to Arizona. It's very, very hot there. Do a nice warm color. Very hot there in the summer, probably really nice weather in the winter. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, I just went to Kansas and I loved how it was, it's just like right in the middle of the United States. I was on the border of Kansas and Missouri. And so I am gonna do those ones that's kind of like a middle color because really neat places right in the middle of the country. Um, and I'm just gonna use purple too. In downtown Kansas City, they have just some fun designs and art painted on the sides of buildings and a really neat art museum too. And so I'm just gonna do some creative colors there. All right, Texas. I have been to Texas. They are known as the Lone Star State. So I'm going to do a big yellow star. I lived there for a while. Okay. And maybe we can have blue around their star. It's a fun place to be. Okay, and we'll go ahead and do a few more. I think there are less places I've been as we get closer to the East Coast since I'm on the West Coast. The West, I should say. We'll do a few more. All right, let's see. I have been to Hawaii. I got cut off a little bit on the copy. So um, 
they've got lots of tropical flowers. You can do pink there. And then been to Illinois. I got to visit. There are an art museum in Chicago as well. It was a really fun trip. Really memorable going there, seeing family. Um, let's see here. Okay, moving up to so New York. Kind of a loud, bright place. I'm gonna do red. Some parts are really quiet. I liked, I've been to some quiet places and some big, a big city there. Both really neat. And then we're gonna do, um, let's see, I also went to Pennsylvania and that area and same thing with the green, the greenery, it's amazing. Very beautiful. Gettysburg is there. And Maryland, I went there. And I'm going to do blue because they have blue crabs. They went fishing there. And crabs, okay. And then Virginia is also very green. Um, we'll do a light green for that one. Visited there a couple times. It's a pretty place. Okay, New Jersey. Stayed over there. Um, do a light blue. Um, nice people that I met there. And okay, I think my last one is Massachusetts. Um, Let's see here, we'll do purple. One of the neatest things, well, there were lots of great things about Boston, but um, one thing was the, I saw some the whales, the whale watching trip in <laughs> off the coast of Massachusetts. Okay, that's a lot of information, but here is my map of the places I've been. And um, I think we have a great country and I'm really grateful to live here and hopefully again we can evaluate our role in the world and um, make good choices with that. So go ahead and finish your map and um, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Good job.